or something. But why would someone like you decide to be involved? <laughs> Who is this guy? We're asking like a I'm serious to... emotional <laughs> question, and I got this guy calling underneath me. I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying to get out of the shop. Just crawl through the shop. at Rock Canyon Park, breaking the Guinness Book of World Records for largest nativity scene with real people. And we're doing this with all these amazing YouTubers, celebrities, huge collaboration. This all happened within a couple of weeks, so it's really exciting to see it come together. This is the first world record that we've ever participated in. And it's fun already. We're excited to come together as a community and be unified in this cause of celebrating the, the birth of Christ. It's going to be cool to really feel maybe somewhat what it really felt like on that actual night. Plus, we heard there's free food, so that's why we're going. Yeah. thousand people they're breaking the Guinness Book of World Records with biggest real life nativity scene. So this was an official Guinness World Records title attempt for most participants in a living nativity. Um, the mark to beat was set last year in Britain. It was 898 participants. Today I can announce you had 1,039 participants with the new Guinness World Records title. I'm Chris with Cine Chopper, and today we're shooting at this crazy shoot. We've got like a thousand people, so I didn't want to fly my helicopter over them because that's just not a very safe thing to do. So we decided to look at some other options, and uh, I came up with this, this rig right here, and it allows us to connect this to the balloons and have the Movi attached here with uh, Devin's 1DC with a 14 millimeter lens. Hopefully our wind obeys and we get some good shots. We're shooting on the Red Dragon. We're shooting in 5K even though it can shoot 6K. We're having a director's meeting where he's going over just to make sure the whole vision is carried out. So you turn has. around, we're going to have Devin and Justin here help me film these guys in the back. So we're going to give them a call out really quick. So I'm going to do that now. All right, everyone, well, let's have you guys be quiet for a second so you can listen to my beautiful voice. Just, yeah, start re rehearsing in your mind whatever you need to do because we want to make sure when we do your guys' close-ups that they're emotional, right. they're compelling. You know, you, you weren't really the father of this child either. Right. It's a big commitment for you to come and accept that. Right. How, how it all worked out is uh, we had the idea. Radiant actually showed up. It's a non-denominational interfaith uh, foundation to really promote Christ in the world and it was just a great fit with them and so Sherry Dew was gracious enough to hear us out and she was excited about the project and that's kind of how it got funded. This is actually a gift card to Fred Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. All I got is a camel. Look, they I'm told me to actually baby not baby. to open this. I think that's myrrh. The gift of a camel. The gift of a camel. It smells like bark. <laughs> it's actually beef jerky but don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's rude to eat a gift before you give it to the savior. <laughs> It get smells it. good. It's what is in yours? No. They told me not to open mine, but I did. No, they told me too. You could get <laughs> that was a test. Shape. I know. Turn that. Do not put that video in. That's right. Turn it off. To see so many people being willing to share their faith and bear witness that they believe in Jesus Christ, and seeing all those angels assembled on the hill and spontaneously break out into song uh, is something that I'll remember for uh, for the rest of my life. Now, why are you doing this project? Well, for me, it's a big deal because, I don't know, we, we just always want to do something good and to remind people of the fact that Christ is the gift of the season is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's just a feeling deep down inside. I, I met a guy from Montana that came down, he's Catholic, and he said, something just told me I had to come down and be at this thing, and it's similar. Just, I just knew this was the project we're supposed to do. The other miraculous thing about this costume assembly project is that at one point or another, something looked like it wasn't going to be able to come together, and it did. And so that was, that was really special to be a part of. So it's just awesome and inspiring for me to be involved with all these people that feel so strongly about this. You know, so yeah, it's awesome. We just wrapped end of day one. Now tomorrow is the final last day of shooting. So now let's go over there. 
All right, so we're on day two of the live nativity shoot with a bunch of awesome YouTubers. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting an actual insert music video scene with Peter, David Archuleta, then the piano guys, Steve and John. So but anyway, so this is going to be the first part of the music video and stuff that will cut to back and forth from what we had before that we shot the first day at the end and also that will have intercut between our other sections that we'll shoot later tonight. So that's what we're shooting right now. Hi, this is John Schmidt. I'm with the Piano Guys. When they came to us three weeks ago, we had no idea how we could be involved. And we, we actually said no, and then literally miraculous things opened up to allow us to, to be involved. Christmas is like the most, one of the most important things too, man. You just feel some magic and just feel closer, and you want to be a better person, you want to love people more, you want to be close to your family, and it, I think that's just the power of Christmas and Christ. I mean, that's what it's all about. So all the YouTubers for this video, they brought their families, their kids, and they all got to be part of it. So that's what you're actually seeing. So when the opening shot, Jake's actually filming up from the roof, looking down at the balcony, or balcony, the floor. And so it's kind of a special moment because not very often us YouTubers get to involve everyone that's really close to us. And just want to make sure you guys know the facts right here first. Oh my gosh, yesterday was so inspiring and beautiful. I was able to sing with David uh, Archuleta on this project and uh, the piano guys as well. Of course, and be able to finally work with the piano guys, and that's been an absolute honor and privilege. And the Mormon Tabernacle Choir are, are in this. Um, but honestly, just to be part of this really special moment with all these incredible people, it's an honor and a privilege to be here, so I'm, I'm so thankful for it. Why is someone like you involved on a project like this? What was your reason? But mostly for my kids, you know? I, I mean, it's cliche to say, like, oh, it's all, you know, it's about Jesus, it's not about all the commercialism, but I wanted to do something to actually show them that. This was a family experience, not yeah. just me or my wife, but we were all here shooting together, so we'll always have this video to look back on and remember the Christmas of 2014. Bring it in, buddy. Bring it in, buddy. I can't wait for people to feel something from this video. That's really my hope, is that people feel the worth of their own souls from this, regardless of what they believe in. If they could just feel the emotion that's packed into music that's, that's been around for such a long time and has such a deep meaning, uh, that's my hope for this Christmas season. I'll start crying. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, just, I just started thinking for a second what Christmas meant to me. And as a YouTuber, or especially as me as Devin, I'm constantly traveling the world. I'm constantly seeing all these amazing people and seeing you guys. So I don't get that many opportunities to actually sit down and be with my family. So Christmas has always meant something super special because it's that one time that I know we can all get together. And regardless of if you're Christian, any religion out there, like we're not trying to tell you to do this or do that. We're just sharing what's important to us. I feel everything that we do with our videos. We always try and like ask ourselves, like this is a stand for what we believe in and I feel we're trying even harder now because we know we have an honest we know people care about what we're doing and we want to remind you like that's what I want Team Super Trump to be known for it's a little different behind the scenes than normal got a little emotional for you guys not intentionally but I wanted to share my heart because I don't have that many opportunities to do that but Christmas I feel I get permission to do that so thanks so much for watching make sure to check out the main video which will pop up right here. It's on the Piano Guys channel. It's not on our channel just because it was a big collaboration with everyone. So we're shooting traffic that way. So thanks so much for all your support. We're super grateful for you guys. Other than that, over and out. <laughs>